All right, YouTube, we're here for round four of the Modern Challenge. We're on, or the Legacy Challenge, we're on the play. And this hand's, like, decent. I mean, it's got a bunch of cantrips. It's got a threat. I don't think we can say no to this. I'm going to lead on Preordain, because I'm likely going to have to fetch next turn to interact. And, yeah, we want this, and we want this. So, like, my ideal turn, next turn, is to, like, not have to daze something here and then go Delver Wasteland. I'm actually just cool with this happening because it doesn't mess my turn up. Like if they take my days, they take my days. I'm just going to go Delver Wasteland. Yeah, that pre is hot. Yeah, dude, Wasteland plus Delver is just... And they must know that there's a Delver on top of my deck or something like that. Or, or I would have snapped off this. Yeah, they just take my days. Which is the take. Like, I don't think they're going to win if I... um, If I get to daze something as well. Ooh, no land drop from the opponent. Thoughtseize. I don't mind if I do. I'm actually not going to brainstorm here because I want to get a Valk with this. So I'm going to go get my Valk. I'm going to do this in the right mo right way. I'm going to attack, and then I'm going to um, Thought Seize them. And then I think I'm going to Ponder because I think I'm the – who's on the front foot here? Do I want to set up my Ponder and then disrupt it, or do I want to disrupt them then set up my Ponder? And I think I want to set up my Ponder – and then disrupt them. Because what my next turn wants to be, I want to play Gurmag Angler plus Protection. So I want to see what's coming. None of these are very good, except being able to jam True Name Nemesis, which is likely great against the Scrubland deck. So we're going to go Thoughtseize, True Name, Wasteland. And then I'm going to Thoughtseize them. I don't think I care about any of these. I think the big I think I honestly care about Dark Confidant more than anything else. I think you definitely ponder first to see what you want. Yeah, because I wanted to ponder first, so I wanted to ponder for a way to protect my Gurmag Angler. But I would rather just slam True Nemesis. I'm going to take Bob because I think they're so far behind that even if they thought sees me, it doesn't matter. And Bob will pull them back out of it. Those Stoneforge Mystic, Stoneforge Mystic can get them Batter Skull, but they're not going to be able to do it because of the Wasteland. Yeah, we're just going to take this Bob. I don't think I care about anything that they have right now. Lawrence and Bob gives them something else, right? I don't know what this deck's called, to tell you the truth. I think you could also just click on a random card and still win this game. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we want these for sure. Um, we want a braid because they're a Stoneforge Mystic deck. I don't think I want my Force of Wills. Well, they could have Lingering Souls. You know what? Do you not like click for that? Or do you bring in click against... Do you just bring click in against Stoneforge Mystic decks to be able to snipe it? Or... They play Lingering Souls? All right. So if we're going to worry about Lingering Souls, I probably should have this. Um, Spell Pierce is probably fine. I think Daze is fine if they're moving up to like three mana sorceries. <clears throat> If Gurmag Angler could be our worst, like, maybe we don't want Angler. We're already bringing in two threats, so maybe we can cut one of these. I would have four forces over Daisies. Do you think days? do you think it's even worth it, considering their deck's going to, like, be tapping out so much? Angler is good versus Batter Skull. Because I always keep in my Daisies against this deck, because I always, decks like this, because I always feel they're so clunky. You know what I mean? Because, like, they just end up, like, these mopey non-blue decks 
they just they they have to win on card on card quality. So they're just tapping out every turn trying to play the most expensive card they can play. Okay. We'll go with it. We'll go with it, Lawrence. I'm definitely bringing my daisies in on the playing kind of moves. I could even see cutting this and keeping a daisy in. Because we have, like, many other ways to deal with Bob. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways to deal with Bob. Plus 12. I'm going to keep one daisy in. They may have him post board. Okay. Well, if they have him, this is the kind of hand you want. You can have a force pitching a force, which I'm going to keep this. I, I've got like, I don't want to mulligan against this deck. Maybe this was loose, but like I can maybe wasteland them. I should have fucking mulligan. I wasn't even thinking here. I should have mulliganed, I think. Plow. I'm going to just force that dude get out of my face. Now they've mulliganed, like they mulliganed to do that. Yeah, it makes more sense after seeing, I didn't know this was a part of the equation. All right, if we could like stop doing that. Or maybe they'll just hit me. How sick would it be if they just hit me here? Like, wouldn't that be kind of insane? They must have another plow now. Okay, there's Stony Boy. All right, we gotta find a way to kill that thing. We need to flip this to a brainstorm. And then brainstorm into a lightning bolt. Tilt, we're dead. We're not like actually dead, but we are pretty close to dead. Probably should have mulligan, but like, I don't. I hate mulliganing against decks with him to Torak in it. Because like you mulligan to a hand that like works, and they're on the play, they thought CC, and then you're just fucked. Attack. Jk. You 100 percent keep that hand, dude. Please waste me. Thank God. All right, I see what's going on here. Well, they nabbed one from my hand. This is aggro. I hate people do this. They're a stain on the game. Attack. You can't cast that either. This is a uh... oh man. He leaves that shit in rug mirrors back in the day. They just waste them off green. All right, another Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, that's hilarious. We have a we have a bulk. Umazawa's Jurgit. All right, I yield, I yield. 
All right, do we want to change anything knowing how heinous our opponent was? All these, I think. All these on the play. Uh, Spell Pierce is probably shenanigans. Now that I, th well, though they have Liliana's. Is dead better than edict? But they're the same card. I mean, probably just being able to choose is better. It's like one one can kill a battle skull token, but like I've got more problems if I'm doing that. I'm going to play first. Ugh, gross. This hand's so good if we had a red source. Yeah, Blossom and Souls. Okay, so... So, we could waste them out of the game. We could daze their first play. But even if we hit a red land, this isn't that good. I think I'm going to mulligan. This hand's better. I don't think there's a world where I'm not fetching here from not playing this Delver, even though there's a good card on top. Like, if they just swords the plowshares, my Delver here, I'm going to hurl, but, like, that's life. Tail. That's a good one. Maybe I shouldn't have even done that. Cause I probably should have shuffled one of those away. That was stupid. Because now if I get wastelanded, I'm like, my opponent's going to mess with me. That was dumb. I should have shuffled one of these away. Uh, we're going to put this on top. Well, no. See, I want to hide this. I kind of want to just go top, top. I should have put back a wasteland. Yeah. I'm going to go top, top, because I don't want them to discard spell me and hit this Bitter Blossom. So we're going to draw a Spell Pierce. The best thing they can do for us here is play a creature. Yeah. Play a creature. This probably means a creature. Oh, that's so good. All right, so we're going to Bolt Bomb... And this Bitter Blossom will take care, will outpace a Liliana. Yeah, Boulder Dude. A Last Hope would be pretty ball breaking here. Yeah, Last Hope would be very bad. We can beat Vale. I should I should have I should be up one more land. All right, that sucks. So they probably have a veil. I would I think. Okay, so let's put this back. Let's put this back. I think they have another good turn three play. Because they pause so long. Dude, get out of here, Kevin. Yeah. Um, we just draw Delver, I think. We draw Delver, and then we put Days last. Because again, we just want to be able to handle a creature. 
Well, no, I should have put the I should stack that differently because I'm I should have stacked that differently. I think I should have stacked that differently. Yeah. What I was worried about was another Liliana because I probably have to sack my Lava Mancer and then I have Dead Gone to kill a creature. Yeah. Jeez. Um, they don't have Tarmor Wife, so the Bitter Blossom doesn't matter. All right, we got in for two. Because now the days would be better, I think. I think we're going to get attritioned out of this game. Oh, you're talking about just being able to bounce our Delver? What do they have, like a Gideon ally of Zendikar? What? Gideon of the Trials. You don't say. That's bad. Because we're drawing days. Yeah. So now we just need another creature. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hard cast days. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I was just like, oh, it's not going to go anyways. But now that they play a two drop here, I'm going to hurl. Yep. See, I fucked this all up. Yep. I'm not playing very well today. Like I make some good plays, and then I miss, like, some unintuitive shit. I did. I just wasn't thinking. Like, it was right to daze it. I just didn't. Tornado Nemesis? All right. We need a TNN. We have three true names. You got it, dude. Yeah, we need a TNN. One time baby with a true name. One time baby with a true name. Yep, daddy wants a nemesis. Nice land. Yep. We're dead. I think you need two TNNs. We'll probably, well, one TNN will buy us enough time. And it makes sense to cut Wasteland. Like, I cut Wasteland against the blue-white decks. This is just the same thing, except it, instead of blue cards, they have black cards, you know? I don't think... Okay, they're smacking. I'm just taking nine. Taking eight. Well, it, yeah, I should have thought about that because it's the same thing that I do against the control decks. And, like, this is basically, like, a shitty Stoneblade deck. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, I'm sending a message. I need that scrub land out of my face, boy. Jeez. Who names this? It probably wasn't right. I was just looking to send a message. Um. Yeah, I was just sending a message. 
I see one more card. And I'm not going to cast. Oh, how is this? Probably not going to cast this Brainstorm. Because I can't hit. I can hit land plus threat. Right? Right, I mean, it's something. Uh, we could hit Marsh Casualties and kick it. It doesn't really do anything. Our red spells, our black spells are, we can get Gurmag Angler and stabilize the board, though. Our opponent is putting us in the dirt. Gotta hold this back. We're gonna go to one here. All right, I'm just going to eat this stone for no sake. I think I'm going to go to one. It turns off fetch lands, but like, if I draw true name nemesis. Block. I guess if I draw true name nemesis, I want to like give myself the chance to draw a second one. Yeah, if the two wastelands had text. I yield. I yield. All right, let me go stop the recording.